Okay. Hello everyone. I welcome you all to class 12 officially. Uh, through my previous video, um, I have already given you a brief introduction to all the chapters of class 12. Okay. If you have watched that video, then uh, you know that uh, this chapter, semiconductor electronics, chapter number 14, belongs to modern physics. Okay. And since uh, you all are a science student, so you know that uh, whatever you have studied so far or whatever you are going to study in uh, near future, all the concepts you have learnt, all have at least some applications in real life. So now, why this? Why semiconductor? So now, why this? Why Why this? Why semiconductor? Physics hai. obviously come to a heavy liver corbat. So we come to a physics is everywhere near us. So uh, semiconductor code. Okay. So semiconductor find its application in your solar panel or solar light. Uh, this is also called photovoltaic cell. So the diagram is the same. And uh, you can see the same. Then uh, semiconductor is in your home reverse car parking sensor. So the car is in your parking sensor. That is the semiconductor. Okay. So the same. Then uh, they are used in scientific calculators, computer chips. Okay. Semiconductors are also there in LED. Put that light logo. Diwali light. LED. So what is the full form of LED by the way? I will apply this. Okay. LED means light emitting diode. Okay. Emitting E M I double T I N G D I O D E. Light emitting diode. You better write the full form of LED. Okay. Spelling will have So these are the very common examples. I have seen it. Apart from these applications, both black black jagat, this semiconductor find its own uses. I have seen it. Discuss it. Okay. Let's uh, be discuss semiconductor then. So, what is energy band? Okay. To understand this, uh, you should know one thing that uh, electrons of an atom contains energy. Okay. Electrons are moving in a definite orbit. Correct. So. The TI electrons are moving on those orbits, they have their own energy. Okay, so what are the this exact value of this energy that we will calculate in atom chapter? But for now, now, you just remember that each electron has definite values of energy, these are called energy levels, and the large number of energy levels closely spaced in a small energy range forms energy bands. You please uh, memorize this definition what is energy band. Then energy band in the at, uh, of electrons is divided into two types, valence band and conduction band. Valence band means the energy band of valence electrons, whereas this uh, conduction band means the energy band of conduction electrons. Now what do you mean by conduction electrons? Conduction electron is nothing but free electrons which are free to move from one point one place to another. Okay. Valence band ki hai? move Okay. So now see this diagram, side of the diagram to show, now they are uh, taking energy level along y axis and nothing uh, along uh, x axis, you will see that conduction band is above the valence band. That means conduction band has higher energy than the valence band and there is this gap, correct? This gap is called forbidden energy gap. So forbidden energy gap is defined as the energy gap between conduction band and valence band. This is very important. Okay. So, moving on next. So, this uh, actually uh, con this con the small concept of uh, forbidden energy gap, uh, this is the main key thing uh, to uh, understand semiconductor. Okay. So, uh, based on this uh, energy gap, Kiman Dangor Kiman Horu hai. Depending on this, uh, materials can be classified into three types conductors, insulators, and semiconductors. Okay. So, uh, in the first diagram, it is actually the case that the case idea. So, there is a conduction band and balance gap, and in between, there is forbidden energy gap. Here, the, the sub symbols E suffix B, this represents energy of balance band, E suffix C represents energy of conduction band and E suffix Z represents energy gap or forbidden energy gap. So, in the first diagram, diagram number I think, uh, huh, second, diagram number 2, you see uh, there is uh, overlapping of conduction band with the valence band. These are nothing but conductors. Okay? 
the materials for which the conduction band and valence band overlaps or we can say the materials for which there is no energy gap or there is no forbidden energy gap those are called conductors okay. whereas the energy gap is uh, too high the, those type of materials are called insulators and if energy band the gap is within a limit within a limit uh, say if here it is mentioned as less than 3 electron volt diagram to focus one in the last diagram energy band gap is less than 3 electron volt then those are nothing but semiconductors okay this value 3 electron volt this uh, value is the deciding factor whether a material is semiconductor or not so please remember this value okay so uh, some uh, ag again uh, classification of uh, materials based on conductivity also the, we can uh, classify them as metals metals are nothing but conductors then semiconductors and insulators so this is uh, some uh, resistivity and conductivity values are given so please go through it once okay then some uh, examples of uh, metals or conductors are kiha tumala ghor current pass hoy thaka copper wire dal okay an insulator by tar upor lagi thaka pvc coating okay so or plastic it may be plastic also so that those are insulators then example of semiconductors uh, i have uh, already mentioned okay so uh, moving on uh, classification of semiconductors so in the different uh, books um, best, uh, semiconductors are divided uh, into different categories uh, so tumalgor book of dia asle one type of category number one and number two elemental semiconductors example are silicon and germanium elemental means single element uh, whereas compound semiconductors uh, this may be inorganic organic or uh, organic polymer number dia asse uh, i think uh, you will uh, you, you will find those names in the uh, chemistry correct but uh, in this context uh, we will uh, divide semiconductors as this table only the uh, diagram dia asse flow chart semiconductors are divided into two types intrinsic semiconductor or pure semiconductor then another is extrinsic semiconductor or impure semiconductor extrinsic semiconductor is again classified into p type and n type okay then side of the diagram dia ase silicon and germanium so uh, starting from this point of uh, this point tomalke just monotho je semiconductor means nothing but silicon or germanium tar upor ami ji koribo loga thake baki bu kori dim okay tar upor ami belak belak classify kori dim jodi akol pure silicon thake enake so silicon ar kiman hoy what is the atomic number of silicon what is the value atomic number of silicon is 14 correct so what is the number of uh, valence electrons chemistry valke poisa na so number of valence electrons for silicon is 4 similarly atomic number of germanium is 32 and number of valence electron for germanium is also 32 electronic conversion ki ho likha sun germanium ke last or valence electron kotho ma ase i think you will find them in uh, 4s2 and 4p2 and silicon 3s2 3p2 so bahar kera kera ase s or duta p duta dui ta ta ek same so bahar chai ta electron ase that means they are called tetravalent okay chai ta thale ki koy tetravalent so jodi ene koy jodi silicon ekel gore lagi thake ya germanium ekel gore lagi thake they form covalent bonds with each other but what is covalent bond covalent bond means the bond formed by sharing of elect sharing of electrons correct chemistry hoy ma chemistry na jano bhalke je man khani jano hete koisho then the, this two diagram ki ha sharing of electron to chaita nai eta silicon atom e tar chaita nai bor silicon atom logot chaita electron share koribo tene ke eta silicon etok koy silicon crystal ene ke form hai koribo okay this diagram is very important ya apot amar next discussion chal thikibo thik ase then so uh, based on this then what are the properties of semiconductor our main concern is on uh, properties of semiconductor so what are the properties so semiconductor act like insulator at zero kelvin so before this uh, current pass over lage conductor amar asile current pass over na lage insulator amar asile okay then majote etu korpor ahi kol semiconductor amak kiyo lage so these are the few properties why we need semiconductor okay we can uh, use semiconductor according to our requirement jeneke lage ami teneke use korbo paro if we want them to be insulator then here insulator hoy jabo if we want them to be conductor then here conductor boni jabo so these are the properties semiconductor act like an insulator at zero kelvin the this is absolute zero then on the increasing temperature it becomes conductor can i discuss cream 
then uh, it uh, consumes less power okay then semiconductors are very small in size then it uh, weight is also very less then also the resistance increases with increase in temperature black black graph as that we learn in the later on so in semiconductor the current flows due to the movement of electrons or holes now what is hole hole is nothing but uh, positive charge okay uh, but uh, positive charge we can also say this is a deficiency of electron dhoilo electron eta asile nijor jagat korbat bohi asile okay electron to tarpa olai gusi gol then ki hobo tar electron olai gusi gol tar khali hoi thakibo that empty space is called hole hole is nothing but a positive charge positive carrier then electron negative charge okay electron flow ko ile the kind flow hoy that we already know okay bo lagise niki iman gote akol theory 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 hoy ase okay please don't get bored aro akoman ase then uh, mainly semiconductors are divided into this type we have already uh, see this the so this uh, then uh, intrinsic or extrinsic intrinsic semiconductors are made up of single element for example germanium and silicon they are also called pure semiconductor whereas uh, extrinsic semiconductors are made by adding impurity to pure semiconductor so jodi germanium or silicon asile tar jodi ami belak kiba impurity lagai diu belak etam madat bharai diu then they become impure semiconductor or extrinsic semiconductor okay so the process of adding impurity to a pure semiconductor is called doping so this is very important this definition is very important ya thowa gotita definition e important hai you please note it down and try to memorize it okay okay by the way etia leke jiman khini bujalo ya ji khini alo pasal ke bujam jodi yar kiba problem thake you please uh, attend the uh, zoom app class uh, which uh, i will conduct uh, this uh, evening aji evening ami conduct korim motar message already in forward kori disu so please attend that that one to one interaction hobo কারবার যদি কিবা ডাউট থাকে ইউ ক্যান ডাইরেক্টলি এক্স দেন হাও দিস এক্সটেনসিক সেমিকন্ডাক্টর ওয়ার্কস কেন কাম করে ওকে সো এজ আই সেট জার্মেনিয়াম এন্ড সিলিকন এন্ড দ্য মোস্ট কমন এক্স ইন্টেনসিক সেমিকন্ডাক্টর ওকে সো দে হ্যাভ ফোর ভ্যালেন্স ইলেকট্রনস সো দে আর কল টেট্রা ভ্যালেন ওকে সো দেন দ্য ডিফারেন্ট সিলিকন অ্যাটমস আর বাউন্ড বাই দিস কোভ্যালেন্ট বন দেন দেন এট জিরো কেলভিন অল দ্য ফোর ইলেকট্রনস অফ silicon are shared with the neighboring four electrons of other silicon atom okay so ki hal eta free electron nai sob nijan jor jagat roi ase hal so at zero kelvin it behaves as an insulator eta free since there is no free electron so it behaves as an insulator then whenever we increase the temperature jeti ami temperature bahai dim then this covalent bond might break covalent bond bo ki hobo ভাগি যাব যদি কোভলেন বন ভাগি গল দেন কি হব ইলেকট্রনস উইল বিকাম ফ্রি সো দিস ফ্রি ইলেকট্রনস উইল কন্ডাক্ট কারেন্ট এন্ড ইট উইল বিহেভ অর দিস হোল সিলিকন ক্রিস্টেল উইল বিহেভ লাইক এন কন্ডাক্টর ওকে কেনকে মুভ করে থাকিব ফার্স্ট এটা জায়গার পর ইলেকট্রন ওলাই গল ইলেকট্রন ওলাই গল মিনস কি হয়েছে ইট গেনস কাইন্টিক এনার্জি সি কি করব কাখত থাকা বেলেগ এটা ইলেকট্রন নাইবরিং এটা ইলেকট্রনত কোভলেন বন তাক খুন্দা মারিবগে খুন্দা মারার লগে ইটো ইলেকট্রন ওলাই যাব আর তার জায়গাটো ই লো লোক দেন কি হব যেটা সেই ইলেকট্রনটো ওলাই গল তাত কি হয়ে গল এলাকা এটা কোন ফ্রি হয়ে গল ইলেকট্রন মুভ করলে ইলেকট্রন মুভ করলে মিনস কি হয়েছে দেন তাত আমি কারেন্ট আমি পাই যাম ওকে সো দিস ইজ হাও এ সিম সিম্পলি এ সেমিকন্ডাক্টর ওয়ার্কস এ জিরো কেলভিন ইট বিহেভস ইনসুলেটর হোয়েন এভার উই ইনক্রিজ দ্য টেম্পারেচার দ্য ইলেকট্রনস গেইনস কাইনেটিক এনার্জি এন্ড জাম্পস টু দ্য কন্ডাকশন বেন্ড এনার্জি পালে কি হয় বেলেন্স বেন্ডর পর কন্ডাকশন বেন্ডলে জাম্প মারে আমি অলরেডি দেখিছিলো গ্যাপ এটা আসে যদি গ্যাপটো কম হয় জাপ মারি রিপোর্ট পাই যাব যদি গ্যাপটো বহুত বেশি হয় তাহলে জাপ মারি রিপোর্ট পাবগে নয় তো এটা কারেন্ট ফ্লো নহয় সো এনাফ এনার্জি আমি সাপ্লাই দিব লাগে ওকে দেন রিমেম্বার কারেন্ট এরাইজেস হোয়েন চার্জেস ফ্লো চার্জ যদি ফ্লো করে দেন কারেন্ট এরাইজ হয় সো এইটো ডাইগ্রাম ডাইগ্রামটো ডাঙরকে দিয়া আছে সো যেটা আমি কি করি এনার্জি সাপ্লাই করি ইফ উইল ইনক্রিজ দ্য টেম্পারেচার থার্মেল এনার্জি দিম দেন দ্য ইলেকট্রনস দ্য কোভলেন বন উইল ব্রেক এন্ড ইলেকট্রনস উইল বিকাম ফ্রি এটা ইলেকট্রন ওলাই যাব যদি ইলেকট্রন ওলাই যাব তাত কি হব দে উইল বি ডেফিচিয়েন্সি অফ ইলেকট্রন দ্যাট মিনস এটা হোল ওলাব সেই হোলটোত আক কি হব সাইডে এটা ইলেকট্রন গে তাত গুছি যাব দিস প্রসেস কন্টিনিউস ওকে দেন কারেন্ট এরাইজেস হোয়েন দেয়ার ইজ ফ্রি ইলেকট্রন অর হোল সো যদি চার্জ কথা কথা চার্জ মে বি ইলেকট্রন অর এ হোল সো যদি হোলটো থাকে 
तीतिया करण हबो जदि कंडक्शन इलेक्ट्रोन तो थके तीतिया करण प्रोड्यूस हबो ओके देन कैन वी से अबाउट सेमीकंडक्टर एट 0 केल्विन द कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड्स आर वेरी स्ट्रांग एंड देयर आर नो फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द द सेमीकंडक्टर बिहेव्स एज अ परफेक्ट इंसुलेटर अबाउट 0 केल्विन और एब्सोल्यूट टेंपरेचर विद द इंक्रीजिंग टेंपरेचर फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर प्रोड्यूस जिबुरे की करे वैलेंस बैंड अपरा कंडक्शन बैंड जाम करे एंड हेंस दे बिहेव लाइक ए कंडक्टर ओके नाउ इंटेंसिक सेमीकंडक्टर इमान भलके काम करिए आसिले देन व्हाई एक्सटेंसिक आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज ऑन एक्सटेंसिक सेमीकंडक्टर हम की करू विल एड सम इंप्यूरिटी टू दिस सिलिकॉन एटम ओनली क्यों व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम इन दिस इंटेंसिक सेमीकंडक्टर द प्रॉब्लम लाइज इन द लास्ट लाइन लास्ट लाइन तो की लेसो लास्ट दुता वर्ड सो की दिया से इट बिहेव्स लाइक ए पुअर कंडक्टर in an intrinsic semiconductor the current produced is very less ekdom insignificant hoy ami gome ne pa current produced hoye na hoyse micro ampere produced hoy ampere is the assignment of current micro ampere 10 to the minus 6 ekdom kom current produced hoy which is no use to us that's why the concept of extrinsic semiconductor came okay then jeti eto iman kom current produced hol then scientists thought about it and find found a solution where they have uh, put some extra uh, atom to a pure sem silicon or germanium crystal that belak kibara bharale so ki bharale kene ke bharale ki hoy belak belak type ki ki asile he bor ami discuss korim in the next video okay so the these are the things you should know after watching this video what is energy band gap uh, then the this uh, the concept of intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor then what is the energy band gap value of semiconductor then the concept of hole and the working of an intrinsic semiconductor okay mm, i think uh, the working of intrinsic semiconductor is not uh, crystal clear to you so uh, please uh, attend this uh, interactive session uh, in the evening okay all good so now i am getting bored okay so this is uh, all for today thank you very much